Hey guys, this is Naveenia. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So, one more interview question actually. Somebody asked me uh, yesterday via email that uh, at the time of interview, they asked print from 1 to 100 without using any loop and recursion. You cannot use any for loop, while loop, any kind of streams or recursion. You cannot use that. So, with loop and with recursion, we have already seen that earlier. And uh, I did some uh, you know check some documentation and I found two solutions for that actually and then uh, the first solution is that we can use the concept of bit set class second thing is that we can uh, use the concept of array filling we just fill the value at the same time and then convert that array into two string and print it directly and then we will get it so for that we have to use arrays dot fill method and actually I checked and uh, this question was asked in uh, OCJP certification also in the Java certification question so let's see how to do that. So first solution I'm going to talk about that uh, arrays fill method, I'm going to use it. I'm not sure that it's a very regular interview question or not, but let's see. <clears throat> so let's see, I'm going to create one object array. This is number array I'm going to create and is equal to I simple write new object over here. And we have to print one to 100. So I'm giving the size as 100 over here. And then there is a method that arrays dot, see this method, fill method is there. Right? Generally, we don't use that frequently and you just need to pass your number over here like this. And in argument one, you have to write new object array that we have to fill. So I'm going to create this and then I'm going to create okay the inner class like that. So new object like this, I'm going to create and then I'm going to maintain one variable. For example, let's see integer count, which is equal to zero. And then what exactly I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, override that two string method and the method name is i simple write public which will return a string to a string method i'm going to override from the uh, from the object class and uh, in this particular string what exactly i'm going to write i simple return whatever the string that we are getting integer dot to string and then convert that and then let's see after that once this is done i'm not using any loop over here system dot out print tell it I simple write arrays dot uh, to string here I have to use and whatever the number array that we have filled with the help of this arrays dot fill and uh, then we are going to print it directly over here. So let's run it and let's see it is working or not. So if you print it, uh, let's see are you getting the output or not. See the output is coming 1 to 100 over here like that starting from 1 up to 100 we are getting it. Right guys. So like this, you can simply do that one to hundred and we are just directly printing the arrays a value, not in the a sequence one, two, three like that. So we are not using any for loop for that. This is the first solution. Second one is that uh, we can use a concept of bit set. Okay. Bit set class. So what exactly you do that you simply create new bit set. Uh, let's see object over here like that. And then this bit set you have to import from uh, this one java.util package that you have to import and in this particular bit set you have to pass values like this you have to pass one you have to set some value let's see I want to print from 1 to 101 like that and whatever the value that you are going to set you just convert that into a two string over here like this okay so 1 to 101 and you have to put a semicolon also yeah and then this entire bit set when we set the value and converting into two string it will give you two string method will give you what it will give you a string so i'm going to store in a string variable over here let's see this a store variable is set is equal to this right and then what exactly i'm going to do i simple write system dot out dot system dot out dot i'm going to use append method over here and see this method you have to pass the last one character sequence start and end point you have to start so the character sequence is my set this is the string character sequence and then uh, from where you want to start i want to print from one and up to what up to whatever the set that we have achieved this that we have already filled up to the length so length it will give you 101 and uh, minus one or you directly write 100 over here up to this particular length and that's it so let's see it is uh, working or not so i'll do one thing let me just uh, print it and then in between uh, I'll do one thing I'll just put a separator also so that you will get the separate output so I just print a new line over here and then let's see the output 
So the second output should be come in the second row. So you can see that over here. It's printing 1 to 99 actually. Yeah. So we have to give a, a range up to 101 over here. And uh, let's run it. So here now we are getting up to 99 and 100. Okay. Starting from 1 to 100 over here like that. So this is the way we can use bit set. Little awkward program. I know that. And the first one I really liked it. Areas dot fill. You can fill it with the help of uh, uh, the count and then uh, you can override this particular method to string method from the object class and then start using it and then uh, just convert that arrays once it is filled this fill method will fill all these values at the one shot so you don't need to write any uh, loop over here and then convert that into two string and print it on the console that's it so this is how we can print one to hundred without using any loop and recursion okay so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you liked it let me know if you have any issues or any more uh, uh, solutions in the comment section to print 1 to 100 without any loop and recursion it's not allowed and uh, let's see who gives the right answer a more appropriate or more uh, you know creative answers till then take care and god bless you all guys